What's good guys? It's your boy Totally Tech coming back with another video. Um today is gonna be basically like a vlog. We're gonna call it Dirt Bike Day. This is gonna be the first one, you know, because I mean this you know I haven't ever made a dirt bike day before. And I'm doing this because Che told me this would probably be a good idea. Shout out Cheesy E. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So stay tuned. So guys, we're currently walking outside of as you can tell i mean duh but uh we're walking over here to my shed yeah i don't want you guys not be able to hear me okay walking over here in my shed where my dirt bike is of course i do have my chopper out here kind of got a flat tire on it but i was gonna get go in the shed to, let me get the keys 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 I got the key, the keys. Yeah. Shit. Just drop the keys. Well, I was gonna, it's kind of stormy out here. Like, it's pretty rough. It's really black out here right now. Like, really black. As you guys can see, let me show you guys around in the shed. So, here we go, the dirt bike, which you guys have seen, but you don't know if you guys have seen my new paint job I did on there. I painted the spark resistor, painted the back fender a little bit on there by accident, painted the sides of the engine, painted the fenders like on the sides, these side ones. I'm thinking about taking and painting them uh, yellow and make it look like a Suzuki. I also painted this, this thing right here, painted the front fender, and then I had a little incident down on this side. You can see it's it was painted, but it's all messed up now. Got a little gas on it after I painted it, and didn't mean to. And I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but I actually installed a little, um, this is an on-off switch. And then you can still turn it off with this switch, but this is how you turn the motorcycle on and off. And then, you know, you still gotta kick it. You just, that's how you turn it on and off. Also, I've got my, I got me a new bicycle now. It's a Mongoose it's a DRX AL, apparently, I don't know. But it's a pretty good looking bicycle. Painted the rims red yesterday, you know, so I can tell it was my bike, you know. I don't like other people touching my stuff. But yeah, think about getting the bike, this bicycle out and riding it today. I ain't really going to ride the dirt bike to bring well. I'll crank it and let it run, let it idle for a minute. I, I, like the, I like to crank it every once in a while and let it idle for a minute. Every, every day, you know. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can talk to you about. Let me turn the gas off, okay? I just wanted to let it idle for a minute, but now I can tell you guys what I'm thinking about doing to it. First off, let me show you guys what happened. Let me sit on it so I can explain to you guys what I'm thinking about doing. So, as y'all can probably see, there's a screwdriver right here, and that is because it's every. No, I'm just kidding. My clutch handle is, you know, doesn't have a bolt in it because it broke off. I tried to ride a wall, and it kind of didn't work too well. Kind of fell over and broke my clutch handle off. Also, Mike, 
broke my brush guard off. My other, my other one of these broke it off trying to do a donut. So yeah, what I'm thinking about trying to do is, is just let me get it back here and see if I can show you guys. You guys can probably tell I need a new back tire and probably a new front tire eventually. I don't really need one right now. I'm, I mean, I still got plenty of time on this one, but the front one's a little bit dry rotted. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but this side's a little good, but it's got like cracks and stuff in the tires. So, see, I know this isn't a dirt. This is a this is a, a dirt. This is not a like dirt trail. I mean, like a uh, street trail bike. This is just a dirt bike, like a since it's a CRF 150F. It's not a racing like a racing bike or a road bike. Uh, so I'm think I know that, but I'm thinking about uh, taking and putting street and off road tires like would come on a street trail bike. I'm thinking about putting those on this bike, even though it's not a street trail bike. It's just a trail bike. I'm still gonna put street tires because, as you guys can probably tell me, look, I live in the middle of the freaking city, and all there is is asphalt and. Why would I get brand new dirt bike, tra dirt track tires when I can just get some street and off-road tires? Because I do ride on concrete more than I do dirt, unless I go over to Mox and we ride. But most of the time, I'm riding um, on the road at my house, and I do ride on the road a lot. So yeah, I figured why not? Since I ride on the road more than I do on the dirt, so. That's what we're gonna. Also, my disc. Here's my disc brakes. There's a, that is supposed to be on my dirt bike. As you guys can see, I don't have a I don't have a brake on here. There's supposed to be a brake right there. But uh, my disc is warped, and so is my front rim. I was supposed to be taking it to Cycle World and getting it straightened, but I haven't yet. But I'm going to be soon. So I got my back brakes rigged. They're terrible. They do not work. But I put a clamp on here because this thing stripped. This thing right here stripped on this thing so it wouldn't tighten up. So I tight pushed it in as far as it go. And then I put a clamp on there. It's not all the way in. See? You can still go back some. And it needs to because the drum, it's not, it's, this thing has drum brakes in the back, as you can tell. And they don't work very good. So I'm thinking about um, loosening that, loosening that, and putting something else on there. But yeah, I'm not really going to, I don't think I'm going to ride this thing today. I'm just going to ride around on the bike a little bit, the bicycle, so. Just want to let you, show you guys a little bit of the dirt bike today. One more thing I'm thinking about doing is taking the uh, light off and just getting me a little white plate to put on there because I really don't like that light being on there. But then again, that kind of makes me, that kind of makes me look like I'm a street bike when I'm riding on the road. So cops really don't mess with me that much on my bike. Because I really don't do nothing. I just ride, you know. So I may end up leaving it on there. I'm not sure yet. But you guys will be the first ones to know if I do or not. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, currently back at my house. Um, I've been riding a little bit today. Uh, I actually did end up getting my dirt bike out today. Even though I said I wasn't going to. I ended up getting it out anyway. So, I kind of, yeah. I rode it around so let me just explain to you guys what I did uh, I got on my bike I uh, rode to Bruce's which is Mike's dad I uh, asked him about my clutch handle which Mike was there which I did not know he was going to be there he was there I asked him about my clutch handle and he said shh we haven't even started so I'm like it's been a whole week like I didn't say that but it's been a whole week you know and he said it would do it in two days and uh so what uh, we did was me and Mike started working on it, and me and Mike got it done, and it's on there. But I'm going to show you guys in tomorrow's video. Not today's, because I already locked it up. Because the shed up and everything, and I don't really get, I feel like getting it out. I actually didn't want to make this part of the video, but, you know, I had to finish my video. But, yeah, guys. I uh, did get the clutch handle on there. It does work good and fine. It is really good and smooth. Like, it's not hard to pull, and it kind of doesn't want to let out sometimes. But it works, and that's all that counts. And I can't wait to get my brakes put on, man. I need some brakes. That's my ne next objective for that bike is 
to get new drum brakes in the back because my drum brakes that are on there now are um they're good brakes they're just they're war slap out so i gotta get new ones and uh front brakes i don't think i'm ever gonna get fixed because you know i gotta buy a new disc and why when i get front brakes when i got back brakes you know what i mean so i'm probably not gonna get fix my disc i'm just gonna get my rim straight and that'd be about it so yeah i don't know i think i'm gonna end it yeah i'm gonna end the guy i'm gonna end, guys i'm gonna end it here if you watched it through and this is the end good thank you guys for watching make sure you leave a like and a comment comment down below if you think we should do more dirt bike days actually i'm not gonna name it dirt bike days because this is basically a vlog let's just call it a vlog because that's kind of what it is basically yeah uh, so uh thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed and uh see you guys in the next one peace